Assalamu alaikum, uh, Dr. Irfan. I see uh, many familiar faces, several of Bhajan's friends, uh, and many of his colleagues. Uh, it's a, I shouldn't say it's a pleasure, but it's a, indeed uh, my pleasure to speak on behalf of my brothers and sisters. Uh, 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 we, are, we were nine, and we are left with seven now. Most of uh, us are, or them, are living abroad. I can, I'd like to recognize my brother, Ishad Karim, who is sitting here. He just came back from Vancouver. I think he's jet lagged, so he cannot speak. He's been so anyways, uh, I thought that I will just uh, speak extempore. As a teacher, I'm used to do that. But uh, I thought either I will become too emotional or I'll forget uh, many things he has been doing. So please allow me to read quickly in 10 minutes as much as I can. Uh, uh, Bhajan, as uh, you know, we used to call him Bhajan. He came from a very illustrious education, family of educationists, jurists, and uh, of course his great-grandfather was also part politician. He was Nawab Sarfraz Hussain, who was a member of the uh, Viceroy's Council in India, and uh, he was, uh, he represented uh, Muslims from Bihar in the Shimla deputation, which laid the foundation of Muslim League. And he was a very active contributor to Aligarh Muslim University. Uh, both our grandfathers, I mean Dada and Nana, they were Bharat Laws, completed their education in UK in 1890s, and our father went to England to study and when he came back, he was the first principal of a college uh, in then East Bengal and then East Pakistan, but moved to India in 1950s, early 1950s, uh, where he retired eventually as a professor in 1963 or 4. Uh, but when uh, my father uh, was away studying in England, uh, Bhajan was a toddler. And about four, four years when uh, father was away, my mother took care of him. And she was indeed a philanthropist. And so what uh, Bhaijan ended up with being, he inherited all the characteristics of an administrator, a jurist, a judge, an educationist, and most important of all, a philanthropist, which led to making him a complete human being. From his childhood, Bhajan was inculcated the value of getting education. After he completed his FSC from Aligarh Muslim University, and Mr. Wasi has mentioned all of that, but uh, of course, uh, he was, as those days, parents would want their children to go to uh, seek education what the parents liked, especially what father liked, so he ended up at Dhaka Medical College, but being very, uh, you know, versatile, he decided two years later not to pursue medicine and went to U.S. And one thing which is, which I feel very strong thing, I think that being a visionary, a far-sighted person, he knew that although our three generations have studied in the U.K., that that's not the place to be, it's America where should one go after seeking higher education. So that he ended up there. Uh, then, after graduating from college, studying for masters, he appeared in CSS exam, and in 1957 became what was known as perhaps the most prestigious service in Pakistan. In 1957, he joined the civil service of Pakistan, and I'm so glad that his, uh, one of his uh, best friends, his batchmate, uh, Salim Bhai, uh, Mr. Salim Jalani, is here to speak about his career. Now, I'd like to uh, go back to, uh, you know, our own relationship with Bhajan. Uh, of course, uh, as I said, that uh, he, he took all his brothers and sisters, eight of them, and uh, the, the one after him was about five years or six years younger to him. He saw to it that all of us get the maximum education we can, and try to, to get into professions which we, we, are, we like, not what 
to. Our father would like us to. And uh, by that time, our father had retired. Uh, he used to be a professor in, in university in Patna. And every time, every summer vacation, we used to come to Pakistan. And I remember going back to 19, uh, I think 1959, when uh, uh, you know I came with my parents or other brothers and sisters when he was assistant commissioner in Larkana. The next year, he was assistant commissioner in Kharpur. And then uh, I think he was, uh, sorry, he started his career from Mirpur Khas, then Kharpur, and then Larkana. And so we visited all the places. And every time my father would be ready to go back, or our parents to India, I said, he used to call him Abba Jan, I think you should stay here, shouldn't go back to India. But my father said, well, he has a job there, so he has to go back. So in, in, uh, when uh, my brother Ishad and I finished our high school, uh, 12th grade, we were visiting here. In, and he was a deputy commissioner in Thatha that year. And so he brought us to Karachi, took us to University of Karachi, and said, you are going to study here. <laughs> and so here we go. We were admitted in B on us at University of Karachi. Uh, and then I, after two years, when I was eligible to get my BA, he said, Matab, you should join IBA. That's something, uh, something to look forward to. Uh, that was many years ago, by the way. I said, Bhajan, I want to follow into your footsteps. And I want to go to America to study. He said, OK, whatever you want to do. So fortunately, as I finished my degree from University of Karachi, I got a Fulbright scholarship, and I went to for my master's to University of Chicago. Two years later, I came back uh, with the intention of falling on the footsteps of my brother. It was 1972, so that I could take CSS exam. And 1973 was not a good year for the civil service of Pakistan, because that was abolished. So my brother said, Matab, I would advise you not to take the CSS exam. You better go, or you'd rather go for your PhD. So here I go, I pack up a year later, went for my PhD to you know, uh, Mr. Jahangir Siddiqui's, where his son much, went much later, uh, our ambassador in the United States. We went both to Cornell, but a generation, he went a generation later. So that was uh, the story of my story. Then my brothers, five, four more brothers, he saw to it that they get the maximum education, I said. And some or the other, I think with the grace of Allah, my our mothers, especially mothers, dua, and my brother's bhajan's effort, that my second brother, he ended up going to France at Sabon University studying uh, petroleum engineering. The other brother, who is not here, unfortunately, he's back in the US. He went to US. He did his PhD in political science. My other brother, uh, he became an international banker who is sitting here, and the other brother who went to US to study and is a CPA. So all our brothers, mashallah, they have professionally, they have done well, either in Pakistan or abroad, mostly abroad, you know. But glad that I'm back here, and so is he, and so is my other brother, Rashid Bhai. Unfortunately, our second brother expired a few years ago in the US. He spent most of his time there. So it's, uh, it's uh, really, uh, indeed, our education, as I said, that father was retired, you know, getting older. So it was all taken care of by Bhajan. And so he really valued education so much that I don't know how to talk about it. And he also did the same thing with his own children. All of them went to US to study, you know, Talib, Mahbub, Sabina, Amr, and Tala. So there it was. He valued education so much that, uh, you know, uh, basically would say that education, nobody can take it from you money would disappear. And I think that's the real value of education, which all we cherish here. OK, so besides taking 
interest in our professional life and our education, and I'm just about to finish, by the way, I'm not going to be too long, that he took keen interest in our marriages, okay? And I remember when I, was, I came to Islamabad, and I was in marriageable age those days, and he would often tell me, Matab, uh, the marriage in our society is not only between two individuals, but also between two families. So be careful where you get married. Okay, I've, of course, I went back to the US, and uh, the year I got my PhD in 1980, I started working for the United Nations, following in the footsteps of my brother, who was those days working in, uh, with the United Nations in Nairobi. I came to Pakistan on vacation, and my father said, Matab, now it's time to, for you to get married. So I said, well, I don't know any girl in Pakistan. Would you like to introduce me to one? He said, yeah, there's uh, this gentleman. Many of you know him. Uh, perhaps uh, Salim Bhai, Zangi Siddiqui Saab knows him. And he took me, and I said, OK, fine. I want to get married to her. So I called Bhajan. He was those days vacationing in uh, Arizona with his family, two young children, Talib, Sabina, and uh, Mahboob, and his wife. And I called him, and I said, Bhajan, I have, uh, I'm getting married next month. He said, to whom? So I said, well, this gentleman, you know him. He's from your service. He said, oh, great. What is the date? I said, 15 days later, because I have to go back to <laughs> New York. He said, OK, I'm coming. So he came to attend my wedding, you know, you know interrupting his uh, vacation in US uh, with all his family. And here it was. Not only he attended my wedding, but he made all the arrangements for my wedding. So that's what he was concerned about. And I think the same goes true for all my brothers and sisters who got married. Mashallah, say all of them, they married uh, with uh, you know, nice wives and nice husbands. So uh, there it was, you know, I kept, came here at Aga Khan University, got, assisted him a little in the formation of this uh, uh, institution. Of course, Tali was the key person, but uh, being uh, in the academic at Aga Khan, I was partly involved with it, but always wanted to follow in his footsteps. Of course, I went back to the US for 10 years, and when I was visiting here two years ago, I got this job offer to come as vice chancellor of this university. So I asked Bhajan, what do you think? Shall I come back? He said, Matab, that's the best thing you can do. And so I tried to follow in his footsteps again, of course, building a new institution, but without his advice, of course, he's no more there. So indeed, he was a perfect family man. He took care of all his siblings, younger siblings, and of course, his children, and many, many other people in this country. Uh, philanthropy is, the, is reflected in the school, the Creek School which he built, as all of you know, and of course, the standard he maintained at IOBM. Uh, you know, people would contact me and say that, can you do help my son or daughter admitted at uh, IOBM. When I was at Aachan, I said, no way, I cannot help you. As I cannot help you getting anyone admitted at Aachan University, I cannot help you getting anyone admitted at IOBM. And that's a standard which he maintained. So he was a perfect family man, not only for his children, but to all his brothers and sisters, and many, many other people who are there, you know, from low-income families also. So we'll miss him as long as we live. Indeed, I would get, I would not have been where I, what I am and where I am without his support and his advice. And I will remain grateful to Bhajan from the bottom of my heart all my life. Unfortunately, he is not with us today, but his legacy will live inshallah forever thank you very much